fam, here we are on our way. It is the next day. Welcome back to the vlogs. Happy Monday. We are on our way to go pick up our new OBS Ford. The way I found this truck was actually kind of crazy. I'm gonna go over it all once we get it back to the house. Great truck, has extremely high potential. It's not a four door, sadly, but it's still a really cool truck and it's gonna make an absolutely epic truck for somebody. So we're gonna go pick this thing up. We'll tell you more about the details of the truck and some of the cool stuff about it and show you all around once we get you back over at the house. But for now, we're gonna hand him over all the cash that he wants for it to uh, get this thing back home. Here it is. Here's the truck that we get to customize for you. So let's go through like a whole quick, just a basic rundown on uh, how I got the truck, the information on the truck, all of the above. So I was actually editing yesterday's, not yesterday, I was editing Friday's video and getting ready to upload it. I click upload and I was just uploading that video talking about how I basically got freaking screwed over on this truck because uh, not this one, but another one that, you know, the guy said, hey, if you bring me the money first thing in the morning, truck's yours. And I'm like, perfect. Let's make the deal. I'll be there 9 a.m. with the cash, right? And it was like 10 o'clock at night when I messaged him. So I just thought, okay, that's the first thing in the morning. He's not going to sell it out from under me. Well, little did I know, even though he said, I'll hold it for you. Somebody had messaged him at like six in the morning and said, hey, I'll give you a little bit more if you sell it to me instead. Guys, I go, oh, sorry, sold it out from under you. All that being said, I'm so much happier with this truck than the other one and I'll tell you why. So the other truck did have some plus size. It was a four door long bed versus a regular cab long bed or an extended cab long bed. The thing that really drew me to this truck especially was the fact that it was a single cab. I don't know why I just love single cab trucks. I was uploading a video, basically got a notification, new listing in your area, popped up. It said 12 minutes away. I messaged the guy, I said, hey, is this available? He said, yeah, I just posted it, literally like within an hour. I said, I will be there in 15 minutes, you know? And so he sent me his address. He was literally only like 12 minutes for me, but I knew what town it was listed under. I said, that's super close. Sent me the address, went over, checked it out, and uh, we agreed on a price. I called my bank. I gave them the amount that I needed, and they said, we've got you, come in, here you go. They gave us all the cash that we needed right then and there. Could not be freaking happier. I mean, I'm so freaking stoked, guys. We are gonna point out the things that the truck needs that are very, very obvious. In terms in terms of driveline, suspension, engine, everything else, it rides super, super nice for a big lifted truck. I don't know how much lift it has, but I'm gonna guess at least six inches, but it's running on some Fox shocks, rides super, super soft. I don't know what they did to the front end. Maybe they just did uh, some new steering components, but the thing steers super, super nice, super easy. I mean, it's always good, um, especially with these big wheels and tires. It rides super, super smooth. Basic stuff that it's gonna need is gonna be some paint work. Um, but the reason that I bought this truck, and let me explain to you again. This truck was 12 minutes from me, rust-free conditions. There's no rust anywhere on the truck, okay? No rust, no rust on the frame. I mean, there was some oxidation in some spots, but nothing. He said that the truck came from down south. He had it hauled up here a couple years ago. Since he's had it, he has not driven it in the winter in the snow or anything like that. Super, super clean. He said that the wheels are dirty because it just poured rain the other day and he hasn't washed it since. In terms of all that stuff, the truck's beautiful, but it does need some paint work in spots like this. So for example, this whole door, I'd probably have him redo this entire door, if not the whole door from like this body line up because the paint's chipping on the door. There's some paint chipping in this little section of the cab, just this little strip here this little top of the fender, top of the hood right here. And then the, ho the whole hood would just probably get redone because there's two, there's a lot of little rock chips on the hood. This lower like bezel here that kind of runs across the front here. It's just cross member here, chipped up there. So that'll probably get redone. And then when you come over to this side, there's a couple little chips here, a couple little chips on the door here again, but the bed is in really good shape. Other than the top part of the bed rail, there's a couple little you know, nicks here and there, but the whole bed paint is actually in really, really good shape overall. Those are the main little flaws, but nothing bad. I mean, overall though, the truck was super, super clean. There really was nothing to complain about. I looked around underneath of it, and this truck was just ridiculously freaking 
clean. It rode super, super nice. I don't know if you guys like the tires or not, but uh, the wheels and tires are only like a couple thousand miles on them at most. Maybe, I'm guessing at most 2,000 miles on the tires. They, they look basically brand new. 24 by 14 American Force wheels rolling on some 35 by 1350s. On the inside, you've got a couple little teeny spots of surface rust starting right there and right there. You can see the paint's kind of flaked away, but nothing's like eroded down through the metal, nothing like that. Uh, door panels are all in really good shape. Nothing's like falling apart. The windows roll down perfectly fine. It's an XL interior, so it's pretty simple. Front and rear fuel tanks. So if you guys didn't know that, some of these trucks were spec'd out with front and rear fuel tanks. So that's cool. The dash is in really good shape. The leather is not peeling or the vinyl. Plastic's not cracked. Everything in terms of gauges on here works. Truck fires up flawlessly. There's no rips in the seats. It's in completely perfect condition. It is four-wheel drive, of course. It's got vinyl flooring, so it makes it really easy to clean out on the interior. I mean, it's really nice. Doors have no sag in them at all. They close nice and straight. They don't like, you know, get thrown up into place like as you close them because you know some of the doors go out of alignment and you gotta really slam them to get them to close. Not the case with this truck. And I did want to park the six-speed Cummins over here so you can get a comparison of how much bigger this OBS is. This truck is a big truck. It's leveled out two and a half inches on 33, no, 1450s. It's a beefy big truck, but this thing, this thing is huge. You can see the difference in uh, ride height. This one looks a little bit bigger at this angle because it's closer to me. But when you get over here more, you can see just how massive this thing is. I mean, it's a freaking tank. Especially at this angle, it really gives it away how much bigger it really is. But it's not like unbearable to get up in and out of. I mean, it's really not that bad. Fire it up for you guys. You can see how smooth it starts up. Starts up amazing. No hesitation at all. It runs like a dream. Drives super, super nice. forward here so you can see this 169,000 miles on it just so you guys have peace of mind because I know that people will be like oh well the mileage is way off because you know it's got big wheels and tires on he's only had the truck a couple of years and he really hasn't driven it that much according to what he said in the last couple of years the wheels and tires were only put on once he bought it he said that before that it was just sitting on factory Alcola wheels um, from Ford and this is that set back here and those will actually be for sale, by the way, or they could go with the truck, but I might just sell them. But I don't know, unless you guys like really, really, really want these for some reason, like on the truck instead with some big old meaty tires on it. I mean, that's up to you guys. I said I would build a truck according to what you guys wanted. That's all up in the air. That's all up for debate. That's up to you guys, what you want to see. Which brings me to my next question. Seeing this truck the way that it is, what are going to be the top things you would like to see done to this truck. We can put massive mud tires on the stocks, maybe set a spacer so that at least has a little bit of stance, do that look, or we can keep the forces and the brand new mud tires that are on it. These OBS trucks, why do they look so good on a big set of forged wheels like that? Do you want to have the paint fixed? Would you guys rather see a full wrap on the truck of a color of your choice? Would you want to see like a saddle leather put on the bench in there? Would you not? These are all things that you guys get to vote on and you guys get to decide what you want to see happen to this truck. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. The giveaway for this truck will probably start, give or take about a week, maybe a little bit longer, but we're gonna get this thing going 
and then we're gonna start building this truck the way you guys want it, one step at a time. And also keep in mind, when the new giveaway goes live, new fulfillment status, like we are gonna be starting to ship the stuff ourselves from the time this new giveaway goes live, from that point on, that's our goal is to do it all ourselves so we can give you guys quick shipping and you guys aren't having to wait very long for stuff anymore because I know that with the whole COVID crap, it just got the fulfillment center super backed up. We're a little bit unhappy with shipping times and that's like a super common thing in the industry right now. Everybody that uses print on demand, which is most of us doing this right now, but we're gonna try to step up our game so you guys don't have to have those long wait times because we know that uh, whether it's me, you, anybody else, when you order stuff, you don't really wanna wait three, four weeks. You wanna get it as soon as possible. That's just the way people are, which is totally fine. It just means that we have to get more creative, push ourselves a little bit harder, but it's all for the better of what we're doing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you have not subscribed yet to the channel. Leave your comments down in the comment section below. How do you want to see this truck get built? Put down your picture perfect perfect build for this truck in the comment section below and we will take note of which comments get the absolute most likes and which comments get repeated the most. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.